It was in this parking lot of Quirky Canine Grooming where a Billings woman's car had been stolen along with her dog still inside. It's a nightmare situation no dog owner wants to live through. The employees at vet to go Vet Clinic are rallying around one of their own. That's what you never want to hear as a pet owner. That heartbreak struck Saturday. Their co-worker, who doesn't want to be identified, was dropping off one of her four dogs to be groomed, leaving three others in the car with the air conditioner on. But this is where the story takes a horrific turn. The car was stolen with three dogs still left inside. Luckily, one dog was dropped off on a random street. The police were alerted, but the ladies at vet to go jumped into action when the others were still missing. So I jumped on our vet to go Facebook and posted it there. The post reached thousands quickly. So everyone was on the lookout. Um, people were trying to drive around, trying to find the vehicle and just reach out to us in the ways that they could help. Posh and Ty, the two French bulldogs that were still in the vehicle, were missing for hours until the car was spotted in prior. I think it was probably about 2 a.m. They had drove out there themselves and found the two dogs on the side of the road. One of the dogs went from the side of the road to the middle of the road, and that's how they found him. Um, and he was over there with Posh, who was deceased on the side of the road. Sadly, Posh died from being thrown out of the vehicle, but Ty was still alive, barely. He is home now um, and just getting all the love that he can get. Police have a suspect description saying it's a thin male with long black hair, but he nor the car has been found. A mix of emotions, anger, um, shock. heartbreak, shock. I mean, you just all name. imagine if it was ours too. Yeah, mm -hmm. And that is like ours. We're all a family here. For now, they are grateful Ty is recovering and all of the support from the community. I just yeah. want to say thank you for all the shares and all of the donations and prayers, you know, everything counts in this situation, and we appreciate every last little bit of it. In Billings, Isabel Sparts, MTN News.